What is up guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you a plugin that makes my drops hit at least 10 times harder. So enough talking, I'm gonna show you what plugin I'm talking about. Let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so this plugin is not an expensive and fancy compressor or equalizer or distortion unit. It's actually a fair simple one. Drum roll, please. It's actually a stereo imager from kilohertz. This is a really basic plugin, but what you can do with it is what matters. So you can basically control the level of the mids and the stereo width of your track and also pan your track. But what I'm gonna play around with is decreasing the width. The reason why I like to do this is that when you decrease the width, so it gets almost close to mono just before the drop hits, it pulls the listener's attention that some elements are getting really narrow. And when the drop hits, everything is like really wide and lovely. So in FL Studio, I have automated this knob, the width knob, and this is the automation clip here. And I just have a basic track so you can hear what it does. And remember, you have to either be on headphones or really good speakers to hear like the stereo effect. So let's have a listen. So as you could hear, when we are decreasing the width knob in the plugin, everything starts to get really, really narrow, like close to mono. And then when the drop hits, it just sounds more open. And in my opinion, hits a little bit harder when it drops. So let's try to listen to this without the stereo plugin. <laughs> Like it's okay, but I think it's like it's lagging a little bit, so it's not grabbing my attention that much. So let's try to listen to the build up with the stereo effect. <laughs> just adds that extra tension to the buildup. And I really like that. Okay, so one extra tip that goes really well together with this stereo decreasing effect is that you also decrease the gain of the master volume of your track. I just use a basic gain knob in FL Studio and just automate the volume knob. So I have loaded this on the master channel of my track. And this is the automation clip. So you can see it's also decreasing a little bit, just slightly together with the width knob of the stereo plugin. So these just go really well together. Like it's just a basic tip, but I use this in every track that I make. And when I discovered this, it just instantly made my drops at least 10% more interesting when they hit. And the best part is that this plugin is for free and you can go grab it at kilohertz.com. Okay guys, that's it for this video. If you like the content, it means so much to me if you will smash the like button or even subscribe to the channel. If you're looking for sound inspiration, I have some sample packs and preset packs on my web shop. The link is in the description down below. As always, I hope to see you in the next video. Take care, peace.